Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppers, sitting outside uh, catching the, not, well, not the last rays of sunlight, but the nice evening sun today. Summer kind of finally hit after quite a few rainy days, so thought I'd move outside and shoot a review out here uh, in, yeah, as I said, the nice evening sunshine. So today, guys, we're looking at another McKellar beer, and one that I think I've had a couple of times on tap, but never reviewed, and um, yeah, never had in bottles either. Um, mainly because, you know, I don't think it's been available in Denmark, really. It's the Beer Geek Flat White by McKellar. So, uh, pretty much, I th well, maybe it's been available, but for some reason I've always missed it when it's been here. Um, they did it in bottle, and I think the bottled version looked a bit different. It had, like, a French press on the label, whereas they did new labels for this can. Um, which I think is inspired by the version maybe brewed at McKellar San Diego, because they also, I think re they released a bottled version from McKellar San Diego. I'm not entirely sure about that. But this is the European version brewed at De Poif down in Belgium in a nice 500 milliliter can on 7.5% alcohol. Uh, or not the can, but the beer. Uh, so Beer Geek Flat White is basically a take on their Beer Geek series. Uh, it's one of the best series McKellar does of uh, coffee stouts. So the first one was Beer Geek Breakfast which was an oatmeal stout brewed with coffee. And this is a take on that with lactose. That's uh, uh, pretty cool. I mean, lactose is nice in beers. I love me, me a good milk stout. So this is kind of like a milk stout-ified version of McKellar's Beer Geek Breakfast. So this is oat, it says, yeah, oatmeal stout brewed with coffee and lactose. It doesn't say what uh, uh, coffee they use, but it just says uh, gourmet coffee. And they use, of course, oat flakes in there as well. Roasted barley, barley malt, water, hops, yeast, and all that. Good stuff, 7.5% as I said, so uh, let's check it out here. Pour a bit more into my glass, using McKellar glassware as well. Gotta keep it official if you can. <laughs> so, pours out in the glass a quite nice, pretty pitch black color actually. Not much light penetrating the beer, and when I got this pour, the head was just massive and creamy. Just looking like completely like kind of like a, the head you'd get on a mocha coffee or uh, some or like that dense head on top of a cappuccino. And it kind of still looks like that right now. It's just faded a little bit in the glass, but still lovely looking head on this beer. Nice, uh, yeah, black color. Let's check out the aroma on the uh, Beer Geek Flat White by McKellar. Yeah, uh, sweet lactose and coffee. It uh, almost smells like, uh, like marshmallowy. It really reminds me of classic beer geek breakfast, which I haven't had in I don't know how long. But it almost like sometimes that beer can be. Uh, I think I've had batches where it's been like a little bit spritzy, quite effervescent. This smells like it's gonna be less of that and more creamy, which I'm all down for. But lactose, you know, also lends to mouthfeel, not just sweetness. And to you guys who don't know, lactose is unfermentable by regular brewer's yeast, so it lends sweetness and mouthfeel to a beer like this. And then you're definitely getting coffee, nice roast coffee undertones. It's not like bursting out of the glass, as in uh, like the Beaker Brunch Weasel, for example. It's a nice, soft coffee character. With uh, It's got some licorice notes along with the roasted malt. And that kind of almost like vanilla-esque marshmallow note, which I think is from the, from the use of lactose. Yeah... A little bit of a burnt roastiness, but in all, all in all, it smells like a pretty nice milk coffee stuff. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. The coffee is not bursting as much right now. It says 1% of the beer is coffee. I don't know how much that is, but Beer Geek. Brunch for me burst more with coffee. Well, right now in the aftertaste, I'm actually getting a nice, very nutty coffee flavor. Mm. Lactose really lends to an awesome mouthfeel. Super coating and slick, medium, also slightly chewy, um, and it also lends to a sweetness. Not big sweetness because the spirit has quite a good amount of roastiness as well, so it kind of the roastiness balances out the lactose. But the lactose flavor that is there is that kind of sweet milky or vanilla marshmallow type flavor. Nice roast on the front and aftertaste, like a burnt roasty malt. There's also like some toasted nutty notes, which I think is a combo of roasted malt and coffee that you're getting that from. And then like the aftertaste, nice, like nutty coffee, uh, like espresso, espresso, not espresso, espresso coffee, you know, dense coffee flavor, but 
mo mostly in the aftertaste, but again, it's not like blowing out of the glass like crazy, like on like Brunch Weasel. It's more of a harmonized version. But this is quite nice. Hmm. Not too much of the licorice that I got on the aroma. A bit there, but not too much. And it's almost got a slightly burnt, smoky type note. But yeah, this is really nice. This is a really nice milk stout. More roasty than I expected, actually. And less sweet. It's sweet, but it's quite well balanced. So, rating wise, for the Beer Geek Flat White by McKellar. Let's go 93. This is a pretty nice um, take on their Beer Geek breakfast. It's not my favorite in their whole series of takes on the breakfast beers, the coffee beers, the breakfast series, but it's still a very, very nice uh, milk stout made with coffee. I have a bottle to review of uh, their maple vanilla shake, which is their vanilla shake imperial coffee stout, but also made with maple syrup. I've had it for a bit now, but I need to get around and review it because it sounds fucking awesome. I think I might be cracking it tomorrow, hopefully. but with some friends so tasty stuff guys if you had a chance to try the mckeller beer geek flat white definitely let me know what you thought of it i thought this was a pretty tasty milk stout with coffee and uh, yeah as always guys remember to comment subscribe check out the facebook fan page and twitter and instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'm gonna say cheers and see you guys in another beer review